Hey guys, this is going to be another Java basic here, and this one is going to be the for loop. And the for loop, okay, first off I'm going to be using NetBeans. Again, it's a very powerful application. You can download it for free at netbeans.org. And what we're going to do here is we're going to open up a new project, Java application, hit next, name it for demo. I'm going to save it to the desktop, and I'm going to hit finish. Okay, and like I said before, any of this gray stuff here, anything gray that you can delete, these are all just comments. You do not need them. They're not, they don't alter your code at all. They don't make anything different. So you can delete all of it. And this is where your actual code starts. <coughs> okay, so the for loop. The f loops are very important in programming. What loops do is it lets you check stuff in order. Not in order, but it lets you check a whole list of items or if you're trying to run through a whole set of numbers and you want only the even ones you can use a for loop to pull out all the even numbers or print out all the even numbers or if you're trying to like check scores or a whole set of numbers or if you want to check if something's true or false like using a boolean expression okay and this is how it's going to be set up this is going to be a little basic on it so you're going to start off four parentheses, and you have to make a new variable. It's using a counting variable. So int int is a variable type. There's also other variable types like um, doubles, floats, strings, arrays, booleans. But right now we're just going to be using a basic int, and an int is just a number, a plain number, no decimals like that. So int I'm going to name it i equals zero. So that's what I'm initializing it. So it's starting off at zero. And you can hit a semicolon after that. Next, it's going to be i is less than. This is your parameter. What do you want it to do? Or what do you want it to stop at? So I want it to stop at 10. Because I'm just going to be printing out all the even numbers between 1 and 10. Hit semicolon. And the last one, i++. plus plus. And what that does is every time it goes through the loop, it'll come back here and add 1 to i. So it'll run through 1 times 0. It'll run through all the information. And then once it's done, it'll come back up to here and start all over again. And it's going to hit the plus plus, so then i will be 1. And since i is still less than 10, it can run again. But once it hits, when i equals 10 and it hits this parameter right here, it's going to have to stop and quit and it'll be done. Okay. So at the end of the statement here, you're going to hit, make a bracket, a curly Q bracket, and just hit enter, and it'll automatically place a corresponding one for you. So now you're just going to go in between the two brackets, and you're going to say, you're going to make a new variable. This one's going to be int, or actually, we need to make this up here. It's going to be a new variable, so we're going to name it int even number, or even num. Okay? And we're going to initialize it to 0. And now, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to, inside the code, inside the for loop, you're going to do system dot out dot print line parentheses quotes, or actually no quotes, and you're just going to put in even num, which this is the name of your variable. So it's just going to print whatever that variable's, the variable um, is. And you're just going to hit um, semicolon. And after that, since every time we want it to go bigger, not just print out the same one over and over, we need to make even num plus equals 2. And what plus equals does is it's a simpler way of writing even num equals even num plus 2. It's an easier way of overriding it. See, it's not overriding, it's just adding to it. And the whole point of programming is to make the program simplest, easiest, and least memory that they can take up. So we don't need that one. So this is all we're going to need. So now it's going to run the first time when i equals 0. And it's going to run through. It's going to print out even num, which is at 0 right now. So it's going to print that out. And after it prints it out, it's going to add 2 to even number. So now it's going to come up and i is going to equal 2. Okay, And I'm just going to run through and it's going to print out even number again, which is going to be 2. And sorry, I, I, missed, I messed up. This isn't going to only print even numbers 1 through 10.
Okay, so now we're going to hit run. And there you go. It's going to print out all the even numbers between 1 and 20. And the reason it doesn't do 20 is because 20 is the last parameter. And anytime like you're doing a loop, if up here, if I want it to be i is less than 10, it'll stop at 9. 9 is going to be the last one that it'll be. I will never, ever reach, never go through this as 10. It'll reach 10, and it'll quit. So, so to show you that, I'm going to lose this code here, and I'm just going to print out i to give you guys an example. And i is this variable here. And then at the end, I'll show you, I'll just say, you'll be able to recognize when it's done. Okay, so now we're going to run it this time. And right down here, so you see i starts up as 0, then 1, and then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, and it's going to be 9. And when it's 9, it's the last time it's going to run through this code. Once it hits 10, it can't pass this parameter right here, which means it's going to exit and then print out my line that says done. See, it says done right here. So there you go, guys. It's a basic on for loops. So have fun and start programming.